What if Toji, instead of being tasked with the objective to kill the strongest sorcerer, he was tasked to kill the strongest devil? Now, this was originally what was going to be the video, but I feel like it would be even more fun to question if Toji could hunt slash kill every devil in the Chainsaw Man universe. I wanted to make this kind of like a series, as not only do I have another topic with Toji in mind, but I wanted to include other characters that would fit this category pretty well. So, this video will be the start of a potential mini-series, basically, but that all depends on how you guys feel about this video. So, with that being said, sit back and watch me spread the gospel on if Toji can solo Chainsaw Man. Now, let's talk about Toji himself, as I've never actually gone over his stats and abilities by himself. Toji, or the Sorcerer Killer, is known for his insane physical prowess due to his lack of cursed energy awareness. And initially, this seems like a lame trade-off, right? I mean, like, wow, you can't even sense cursed energy and you, what, you just punch hard? But uh, for Toji, this is honestly quite the opposite, as even in the likes of Shibuya, in an Edo-like state, he's able to completely bash Dagon's skull in, even with his domain open. This same Dagon, by the way, just got done overwhelming Naobito, Nanami, and Maki. We also see from Megami's POV that he's stronger than the Three Finger Sukuna that he fought along with Megami himself, who was just domain clashing with Dagon not too long ago. This is important as both Dagon and Megami should scale above the finger bearers, and we see the one that fights Megami at the end of season one is able to emit enough energy to light up an entire cave with just its pure cursed energy alone. This has been calculated to be around town level, which is relatively consistent since people like Jogo can summon meteors that can wipe out majorities of a city, and both Dagon and Jogo can generate enough energy to destroy a mountain by casting their domain expansions, which they should roughly scale to as it's their generated cursed energy. Now, it's a bit weird as domains arguably are more of a hacks than anything, but for now, we'll say Toji is consistently in that city level range to even potentially mountain. For this video, I want to be giving Toji his best scaling, so I do not want to hear in the comments, well, uh, actually, he's actually using guns and knives on people, so he should be like, uh, I don't care, wah wah. Now, speed in JJK is a little complicated to talk about, as we have the infamous Mach 3 Maki, but this is really silly, considering Maki, even in a much weaker state, can blitz bullets at hypersonic speeds, and both Nanami and Hakari are able to evade attacks at massively hypersonic speeds. Nanami dodging Mahito, and Hakari semi-reacting to lightning from Kashimo. Which, in my opinion, Toji should pretty much upscale from, since Maki would then go on to fully realize herself, being an equal to Toji, and then scaling above the Mach 3 Naoya that was just blitzing her. And like I said, for the sake of the debate, I want to give Toji the benefit of the doubt, so whether or not you think Mach 3 is consistent for JJK, I don't really care. I believe other feats contradict this, and regardless, I'm just going to be giving Toji the benefit of the doubt here. Now, as for his weapons, Toji obviously has a Glock and his infamous curse tool that allows him to cut the opponent's soul and can negate curse techniques, allowing him to break through things like Limitless along with being able to cut up the very soul of his opponents. And that's pretty much it other than him just having a massively huge back that I aspire to have one day. Let's see what the Sorcerer Killer has to go up against now. Now in Chainsaw Man, there's definitely a hierarchy within the verse, which I have actually gone over in depthly on a video on its own. We know Denji himself at his peak should be in a tier of his own, followed by the Darkness, Control, and Hell Devil, who in my opinion should all at the very least scale to that town to city level range as Denji has killed the likes of the Nuke Devil and the Gun Devil, who in my opinion should all be in that town to city level range as Denji has not only killed the Nuke Devil, which, uh, you know, I wonder what that does, but we have calculations for the gun devil just like going on casual rampages and being in that town to city level tier even true chainsaw man has casually kicked devils through buildings and this itself has been calculated to be around the town level range too as for the mid to low tiers of the verse i feel like most of them i'd put in that building level tier as we have things like the typhoon bomb and bat devil all being able to destroy the majority of or just straight up destroy large buildings and if you want to get more specific for the characters that are like just reaching high tier but are above the mid tiers, they should probably be like city, multi-city block. But I wouldn't put Chainsaw Man any higher than that, to be honest. I feel like consistently Chainsaw Man at his peak is definitely in that city range. As for the speed of the verse, I think the best feat we have is the Gun Devil pretty much just casually wiping out a city within seconds, which has been calculated to be at around Mach 1470. And Denji should be way faster than this, granted since Makima was able to actually outpace the gun devil, but then just got completely blitzed by Denji. 
and in order for Makima to actually beat Denji, she had to make him weaker, which also made him slower. As for the weaker characters, like the mid or low tiers, we've seen characters like Katana Man blitzing the human eye at over Mach 20, and Base Beam being able to weave point blank explosions. This same Base Beam who gets tagged by Base Denji, but take that for what you will since Beam probably isn't like trying to dodge here. But the speed that Beam needed to get Denji out of the way before Rize blew him up in that short amount of time comes out to around Mach 183 or low end massively hypersonic. And any character who is recognized in the story as kind of competent can pretty much evade bullets and are at the very least subsonic plus. But the relevant characters should all pretty much upscale from Beam's feet, like Aki and any character in that tier or above. As for hacks, well, the main ones to know are Chainsaw Man's Existence Erasure, or his conceptual stomach, which allows him to pretty much eat the opponent and erase that concept. But aside from that, he has regeneration, range chains that can restrain his opponents, you know, we have other devils as well, like Makima, who is the control devil who has layers of mind hacks along with just never dying and always coming back. She could also somehow, some way, just like shoot invisible bullets that sends you flying out of orbit. I, I don't know what she's doing, but she can do this. And we have other things like Aki's future sight, the angel devil's lifespan negation, the fall devil's gravity powers, the stone devil's petrification, powers blood manipulation, Rize's bomb manipulation. And there are many, many more devils to talk about, but to be honest, I'm just mainly naming the relevant ones and the ones that have crazy powers. Like, I don't really think anyone is going to be too upset at me not bringing up the shark devil or the spider devil. So sorry guys but now let's move away from the chainsaw man section and answer the question could toji kill chainsaw man now if we are looking at both sides and using their consistent scaling i think toji actually has a pretty decent chance at winning but i feel like the only way he would just confidently win is if you wank toji to mountain level and try to downplay chainsaw man a little bit which i don't think really even works since he still has to deal with the speed problem at least when it comes to like the hell, gun, darkness, control, and chainsaw devil, these guys unfortunately scale to speeds many, many times over Toji's max. And Toji more than likely at best is beating up like characters like Aki or anyone that's pretty much not the top five devils that I just mentioned. Because when you get to that point, you have these guys just casually wiping out civilizations by moving. And although Toji is a very strong character and he is fictional, he is just a trained assassin, and he definitely would not have the specific precautions to approach something like the gun or darkness devil, let alone the control and chainsaw man's conceptual erasure. And although he would make it pretty far, he sadly would not be able to even reach chainsaw man himself, let alone solo the verse. Oh yeah, beam for the win!